I don't know who will do what. But I know that if critical mass, thousands and thousands of people watch it, one, it just need one person. It just need one seed to make a tree. It just needs one sperm to make a baby, right? Out of millions of sperms. Uh, every time. But just need one. But you need those millions to try to get to the destination to make the baby. So similarly, I need, I believe that you need millions of eyeballs, thousands of eyeballs for something to happen. If this video go out there and thousands of people watch it, say 10,000 people watch it, automatically it will become a book. Automatically. Because out of those 10,000, 10 people will become so passionate about it, they will like, oh my God, I have to do this. So they will find their calling in this. But if five people watch it, I, I, the chances are very low. So that's why... How to make 10,000 people watch it? I don't know. That's why the politicians... And that's why the other people... So this is two hour content. We're making an hour long, two hour long content, right? We need five, ten hour content. Then we need five people only to watch all the content who have the extreme passion. <clears throat> and then we need... First we need 100,000 people to know about this. Then we need... 10,000 people to watch 10% of this or 5% of it, then we want 10 people or 5 people to watch all of it. You don't need everyone to watch all of it. We just need a few to watch all of it. But we need to go to 100,000 to find the 10,000 to find the 100 and to the 5. That's why we need the large critical mass to filter, 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 to find the passion. Whose passion is it? Because we still don't have a database of human beings Maybe we can come out with a database of human being. What is the passion of every single human being on the planet? Uh, let's let me make that website. What is my passion dot com? You know, because I think we we need to know what your passion is about. I, I'll just I don't want to forget the name. What is my passion dot com? So everybody can just go and say, hey. I'm passionate about this. I want to fix this problem in the world. If we have a critical mass of that database, then we can just go to them and say, Sir, you opted in for this. Would you like to solve it? Would you like to be part of this group? You know, a database, simple, you know, but make, make it available to people. Yeah, but now, now we're talking about uh, critical mass being <laughs> the solution, but uh, how do you grow this critical mass? So imagine what is my passion.com is up and running. It okay. can be done by me. Yes. Then Obama tweets about it. Mm -hmm. Right? A million people go and sign up. Now we know a million people what are they passionate about. And once we know what they're passionate about, we find the people who are passionate about something with the people who are also passionate about something. We group them together. Voila, problem solved. Who will uh, read all those uh, software? Software. Database. So it's automatic analysis. So, yeah. right. Like if I go and say I am passionate about solving the world's water problem, you say the same thing, you are both connected. It's software. It's, you don't have to be human. So you need to develop a special software? No, it's, just, it's a very simple database. This is like peanuts database. Every time somebody says other and says I am passionate about this, the software will update itself and say there's a new category of passion. It's very, um, very, this is a very simple app. How is it different from uh, hashtags on Twitter? There is no hashtags on Twitter. It's a similar thing. It's actually a similar thing. But hashtags are talking about something. Where here is my passion about something. Mm -hmm. Twitter doesn't ask you what are you passionate about. Facebook doesn't ask you. So this is just a further database connection. What am I passionate about? Passion is something. What definition of passion of mine is what wakes you up in the morning, what keeps you awake, what you know, what are you living for? That's my passion, right? So what's your passion about? Yeah. And how did you grow your uh, Facebook followers uh, up to half a million? I bought, the, bought ads. Just like if you want to run politics, you put billboards, you put TV ads, so people know your face, people know what you do. And then out of the critical mass, some people select, oh, I like what he's doing and I don't like what he's doing. So the people who like what you're doing become your followers. People who say you're stupid, they just unfollow you or don't follow you. With somebody who doesn't have resources to do this, have advertising? 
what was the solution? Why we need politician to do everything? I come back to you and say, we need politician or somebody like me to retweet. You know, like I, what am I doing now? What what do I do every day? I share people's face so they build a critical mass. Now the critical mass doesn't have to be hundred thousand. The critical mass can be fifty. The critical mass can be hundred. You don't need a million people to change the world. You just need four people who are passionate about, extremely passionate about anything. Literally, as Peter DeMonte said that, I, I think so. Mm -hmm. If you're extremely passionate about something and you have the resources, as in to live, not to die. Like, mm -hmm. you have a house, you have food, you don't have to worry about anything else, you can change the world. Anything you want. Mm -hmm. Because you will find the money, you will find everything, just because if you, if you can sustain yourself for three, four, five years, you can find solution for anything. Even if you have zero money, mm -hmm. just by following this process, build a network, build a network, build a network, build a network. Then make it darker, make a make a darker image of the dots, make it more, and then, and then it's solved. And it's one percent at a time, point one percent at a time. It's, it's it starts solving, starts solving. Solve something, share it again. That yes, it solved this much. That will hyper growth it. It's. Initially, it's very small. As it grows, it becomes faster and faster and faster because once you find something interesting, it builds upon the other interesting thing and it grows faster. Can you give a uh, concrete example of how it's already worked or is it just a theory at this um, point? The laptop thing, I will give an example. The, the laptop's purpose is to build bottom of the pyramid connected to the critical mass so that they can find solution to the, whatever problem they have. I think that as human being, we need to have multiple kind of balance in our life. We need to be able to talk. We need to be able to communicate. We need to, we need to be able to collaborate. We need to be able to express ourselves. We need to be able to be confident in ourselves. If we have this, we need to be educated a little bit. We need to be knowledgeable. If we have all this, then we can start becoming human being. That's what a human being is. An incomplete human being might be not able to talk, <clears throat> communicate, collaborate, uh, have lack of self-esteem, lack of self-belief. Once you have all these qualities, then only you can start doing anything in life. Be it a marriage, be it a business, be it anything. You need all this. When you have 500 people around you of different qualities, all your inabilities start going away and you start sponging or taking other people's abilities and become a complete human being. So it's like you have all kinds of drugs or knowledge being given to you by different people. And it's, it's all happening serendipitously. But it's also I am sort of giving serendipity a steroids. Right? So I'm creating more serendipity by giving a laptop away. And that is creating more serendipitous moment. And it is creating more crazy stuff, interesting crazy stuff. And it's growing. And as it is going to grow, because it's only three months old, <clears throat> today my one of my friends who I know for two years, she said to me, oh, I believe that Rehan will not lie and will give you the laptop, so you might as well try it. As I give more computers away, the, the, the percentage of growth will become faster and faster and faster and faster. Like you start a new burger shop, first three months is always slow. And then the customer will go away, they will come back, they will go away, and it's going to grow and grow and grow. And then you need another shop and you need another shop and you need another shop. Same thing with everything. Idea, fixing a problem solution it's all very slow in the start and that's where the challenge is that most people give up when they feel that nothing is actually happening it's like when the seed is in the ground you're watering in the watering you're watering nothing is happening and then you don't see anything happen and after two months sometimes a small bud comes up and you're like oh it's still a bud i need 10 more years if you can wait for those 10 years yes the problem is solved but you have to sometime wait two months of time you know like Sometimes there's an exit, like like the software I'm talking about, you don't even know about it. It's two months old, the MediCat, and it's already sold to Twitter. Two months, it's all gone. Uh, millions of dollars in two months, right? So 
Sometimes it takes, like, you know, a fly has a six-day life. A human being has 70 years. A redwood tree has thousand years life. So it takes, depends what the, the problem is. If it's a huge problem, say you want to create a sun. <laughs> That's a big problem. You want to create another sun or you want to create another planet. If I can think of it, I can probably do it. How will I do it? I have no idea. But collectively, we might know. If all the astronauts in the planet sat together and thought, how do I create a new planet? I'm sure they can find a way. I'm sure they can find a way. But there's thousands of thousands of thousands. Just like they're sitting and watching all the day long. There's some, maybe some voice will come. And there will be an alien form, life form somewhere. And they're all trying. We don't know. But we don't give up. <clears throat> so we keep trying.